Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Young, a uh, music teacher at Sumter County Elementary School. I just want to talk to you about some of the healthy ways that I try to schedule my day uh, to help keep me healthy physically and mentally uh, as we work through this uh, school thing. So, for example, like I start each day, I get up at a decent time, uh, make sure I get myself clean, uh, get some breakfast, and then I get about 40, 45 minutes that I can spend in quiet time to myself to get myself mentally prepared for the day while I'm driving up here. All right. Now, after I drive up here, I come on up to the school. And one of the first things I want to do before I even get started is right there. So uh, you can't see the broom. That's way on down there, right? But uh, I try to get here early enough to have some time to clean my room. I found out that if my room is clean and in order, uh, then when I start the day, it's easier for me to start the day. But if it's, you know, dirty and all sorts of stuff like that, um, not only is that bad for my health to stay in a dirty room, but it also is bad for my mind. It's hard for me to stay focused on my work each day. So anyways, I got all my cleaning supplies. I do that. Now, another thing that I found out as we walk on over this way is I found out my first day or two, things were kind of weird. I was spending all sorts of time doing stuff. Uh, that maybe it didn't have to do. Uh, so I'm sure it's backwards on your screen, but behind me I have a schedule here. And so after like my second or third day, I've, I've noticed I'm spending way too much time just sitting at the computer and uh, just waiting for emails and stuff to come in. Um, and so I made a schedule that made me step away from the computer, okay? So for example, uh, after I finish cleaning at about 8 o'clock to about 8.15, I do some email. And then, you know, just the stuff that happened overnight, I knock that out. And then I spend some time with creative. And then I take a break and once again check my email because that's how my students and bosses and fellow teachers keep in touch with me. Uh, then uh, the next thing I do is I'll work on Infinite Campus or edit some of the stuff that I created or do some continuing education because we teachers, we're still trying to learn too. We're learning how to do this just like you guys are trying to learn from at home. Uh, have a break. Um, do I do some email? But then one of those breaks, I even take a walk. I'll throw on my mask and I'll go walk around the school get some laps in just to try to get a break, you know, trying to, once again, trying to keep myself physically healthy uh, as well as mentally healthy. Then I'll come back and write, edit, or I'll even work on a new skill. For example, this week um, I've really been working with video editing. I've never done that before, so I'm going to learn a new thing. Um, I have some uh, sound recording equipment, real nice stuff, much better than the cell phone that I have that I want to uh, be able to look at too. And so I put in a chance for me to learn something new, take lunch. From one to three, that's meetings. If I don't have any meetings, which occasionally happens, then, you know, I'll finish up something else or start a new project, all right? Then from four to six, I go to marching band and do that, or I teach private lessons. So this schedule helps with my mental health. No one made this schedule for me. I know your schedule is made for you in the morning. You have to check in the school. You got to do this. But uh, you still have some time that's unscheduled. And I found out that by putting a schedule on there, it keeps me from just staring at the computer waiting for emails or surfing the internet not really doing anything having time limits has helped me keep a mental health all right so that's uh one of the things to do for mental health now for physical health we're coming over here and you guys can kind of see right back there uh, that's the candy and stuff that i got for uh abe um awards and stuff like that and those are right there by my desk. You know how tempting that is to nibble on candy when I get hungry? It's pretty tempting. But I can honestly say in three weeks, I've only had one piece of candy. All right? But uh, instead, what I'm trying to do, if you take a look at my desk, is I have, like, my water right here. There you go. And sometimes I have some flavoring when I can't drink plain water. And a healthy snack. So if I really get snackish, I can eat something like a health, you know, a health bar or something like that. All right? So that's that. Moving back to, that's my physical health, my mental health. If you look down here on my backpack, right, you can see, there it is, sorry about that. There's a picture of people that I love. See, I like to, I got to keep in contact with my friends and I want pictures of like my, my family. Those are my two daughters that I, I keep around with me. All right. And once again, 
that's that's just to uh, help me in this time. Yeah, I call them. Uh, my oldest daughter's at college, so I don't get to see her every day. I email them. I do all that sort of stuff like that. But, uh, you know, and my other friends as well. But that little picture just kind of sitting right next to my desk really helps me out. All right. Now, something else you may have noticed uh, as we go around here. See, there's a computer there. There's a computer on my desk. And then there's the computer up here by the smart board, right? I have three different workstations because I have three different types of works I have to do. I have the stuff where I have to communicate with the teachers and parents and students, right, which I do over there. I have my creative stuff, video editing and writing music and writing new stuff for you guys that I do over here on my desk. And then we have to go to meetings, and so I keep the meetings over there. And by having separate spots for me to do my work in, which I'm, I'm fortunate I have this whole room, um, having separate spots, it helps me stay focused. Like since I don't have my email up on my creative stuff, if someone sends me email, I'm not going to be tempted by it. You know, like... If someone sends you a text, just put your cell phone away from you when you're at school, you know, doing your schoolwork or whatever. Um, then when I'm on meetings, so that I'm not tempted to check my email or uh, what's it called again, um, uh, or start working on something else, but so I can stay focused on the meetings. I have my meetings at a very, at a very different place. It's once again my mental health helping me keep uh, stri uh, things straight. Now. When I get home, if I can get home before 7, there's one other thing I, I like to do. And before, I, well, that I have to do for my health. And so before I do that, though, I need to get my mask on because i got to go outside my room for just a second. All right? Of course, wearing your mask is very important for your health, too. So when I get home, I want to make sure that I get out in the sun for a little bit. I try to get it out for at least half an hour, five days a week. All right? And so... Uh, walking on down the hall, we come on out here and uh, get to the great outdoors. And what I normally do is I normally will like go for like a run, I just run around my neighborhood. Uh, the nice thing about uh, doing that, because I'm an adult, I'm safe. Um, it's my neighborhood, so the people around me know them. I get to see them, wave to my neighbors, but because I'm running, I they don't feel like they have to talk to me. So once again, that can also keep me safe too. And of course, I get good sunlight. As we know that sunlight is very important for people to get. So I try to make uh, time at least 30 minutes, five days a week where I'm out in the sun if the weather uh, permits. Getting fresh air, getting some sunshine, uh, it helps your mood, it helps your body produce vitamin D, it really takes care of you. And that's how I've scheduled my day uh, to try to keep healthy. I start off by cleaning myself and then cleaning my area. Um, I keep a mental I keep a schedule to keep me mentally healthy. I keep pictures of loved ones around, uh, people that you know I don't always get to see every day, like my daughter in college, but who I still care about. Um, I make sure that I snack healthy. Um, I try to make sure that I have special work areas dedicated to my different types of work that I do. Uh, I wear a mask when I'm out with people on, uh, or out in areas where I might run into people. Um, and uh, I try to make sure I get some exercise and some fresh air outside at least five days a week. So uh, please feel free to comment on this, some of the things that you guys do, if it may be different. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Uh, miss you guys a lot. I hope I can see you in a few weeks. Take care.